Hello everyone. I'm here to talk today about the Dip for Dozer and the Dozer Scholarship Foundation. There are two events that I'm proud to be a part of and I hope that you'll be able to join us as well. The Dip for Dozer is an annual event that takes place on the second Saturday of February every year in the bone chilling waters of Lake Ripley. We cut a big chunk of ice off the frozen surface and we take turns jumping in. I know it sounds a little crazy, but bear with me. The reason why we do it is we raise funds for a scholarship foundation. The foundation is in memory of Dustin Dozer Zulsdorf, who was a classmate of mine. He passed away the summer before our senior year in a motorcycle accident. The accident happened right outside one of my other classmates' house. His name is Zach Probst. Zach was home at the time and had heard the accident. He came running out to see what had happened and the semi-driver said, call an ambulance. So Zach ran back inside and called an ambulance and came running back out to discover that it was Dozer that had been involved in the accident. He ran to his side, Dozer, still conscious but badly injured, had grabbed him and said, where are they, where are they? And Zach said, they're coming. And he ran back inside to call Dozer's parents or anybody else that he could get a hold of. When he came running back out, paramedics had arrived and they were pulling the white sheet over him. It was, it was a sad day, um, it was a very sad day. I remember my mother calling me, I was in Minnesota at the time, she told me the news, I couldn't believe it. I hopped on the next train ride I could home, met everybody at the high school so that we could walk to the, his wake as a football team. Um, I'd never seen an open casket. I'd never been through a funeral like that. Never lost somebody that close to me you know, since I was but an infant. And it shook me. It shook a lot of us. And it, but it, it developed into something amazing. Junior year in English class, we had this assignment where we were supposed to write a short creative story. He happened to choose to write about our senior football season. In his story, we're supposed to go undefeated, win the conference championship on the last game of the year against the other undefeated team. Um, seemed kind of like a far-flung idea considering the fact that junior and senior, sophomore year we were mediocre teams at best. After Dozer's funeral, we dedicated the football season to him. He was set to be a team captain along with myself, Jace Rindle, and Jens Notstead. Whenever we entered the field, we left the space that he would have occupied open. It was a way of remembering him. Phrases like, do it for Dozer, what will you do for 52, were common in our locker room, on the practice field, and in the hallways. And we set about to make Dozer's football story a reality. The first game of the year, we were playing our crosstown rivals, Deerfield. We, we beat them 47 to nothing. And I think we made our intent quite clear. And we went on to make it to the end of the season undefeated. We were playing Columbus, who was also undefeated for the conference championship on the final game of the year. Dozer's story laid out right in front of us, waiting for us to make its final stanza come true. We were down early. It was 14-0. Columbus was the heavy favorites in the game. They were number one team in the division ahead of us. But we scraped our way back and tied it up 14-14 at half. As the game progressed, late in the fourth quarter, we were up. And what proved to be Columbus's last offensive play, I played defensive end. If you don't know what that is, it's a guy who puts his hand in the dirt and tries to go get the quarterback which I finally did on the final play of the game, hitting the quarterback just as he let go of the ball. Zach Probst, who had held Dozer in his hands at the accident, who was you know, maybe one of the last few people, if the last one, to see him alive, intercepted the ball to seal the game, to win it, proving his story correct. After he did so, the clock stopped at 52 seconds, and the score was 31 to 21, which adds up to 52. Dozer's jersey number, was 52. As sad as his loss was, losing a brother, a son, a friend, a teammate, um, us rallying together and to make his story come true is, is amazing. But that's just part of the story. What we've done since then is created a scholarship foundation. Um, since 2005, we've awarded 41 scholarships uh, from a town of 1,400 people in Cambridge, no stoplights, amassing over $73,000. It's something I'm incredibly proud of, um, something I hope that you'll contribute to. We raise money for the Scholarship Foundation by doing the Dip for Dozer. If you want to, you know, if you're feeling brave, you're ready to brave the chilly waters, um, we ask you that you come join us, sign up, uh, raise some funds, ask your friends and family, ask your neighbors to come join you, um, give people to jump with you or have them donate to you. It may sound a little crazy, like I said, but you should do it once. And if you do it once, 
I promise you'll want to do it again. We do it on the second Saturday of February. There's also some other events that occur on that day. We have some turkey bowling out on the ice where uh, you get to throw a frozen turkey um, across the ice and knock some pins down. Any money raised for that goes towards the youth bowling program that's dedicated to Eric Biermeyer, who was also taken from us far too young. Um, we also have some food and refreshments available, um, traveling rat pack, and money raised from that goes to proceeds to benefit breast cancer research. Um, we also have John Maniasi takes great photography. He catches almost everything that happens that day. And you can see his images on his website, johnmaniasiphotography.com, or you can visit our new website or our Facebook page, which I encourage you to do. Just search for Dip for Dozer and you'll find us. I can't say enough about it. I'm a high school classmate of Dozer's. I'm proud to have been able to call him a friend and a teammate. And I hope you'll come participate in the dip with me. And we, we give awards for those who raise the most and for those who have the best costumes. So get out there, get on the grind, and be creative in your attire. I look forward to seeing you then. Cheers. And I go back to the loss of a real good friend in the 16 summers I shared with him. Now only the good die young stops me in my tracks. And every time I hear that song.